So this video, in this video, we're going <clears> to <throat> see how to use a chart to find an approximate um, to find a tour using the approximate algorithm, which is the cheapest link algorithm. Um, so for the cheapest link algorithm, we just talked about it in the last video. You're going to continually pick the edge that has the least weight. And you're going to draw a picture of what you're doing. You have to do that. It's not an option. And there's two conditions you can't violate. You can never have three edges coming into the same vertex. Because if you have three edges coming into the same vertex, that means you visited the vertex, left the vertex, then came back to it, which you're not allowed to do because we're trying to make a, a Hamilton circuit where every vertex is visited only once. Okay, And you're also not allowed to complete a circuit before you've completed the whole circuit. For pretty much the same reason. If you ever complete a circuit <clears throat> before you've completed the whole circuit, that means you have two edges coming into several different vertices when you're still not done, meaning that one of those edges that has two vertices or two edges coming into it is going to have an edge leading away from it to continue to finish the graph, which means it would have three edges going into it. So you're not allowed to have that. So you have to draw the picture while you're doing it. Okay. That way you know whether or not you violated. And this is a pretty good example because I think there's a certain there's a couple points while we're doing this that you'll see that you're not allowed to pick a certain edge because it would violate one of the conditions. Okay, so the first step is to actually look at your chart. And you have to do this very carefully. Find the smallest number, okay, C119. You have to make sure that's the smallest number, though. I believe it is because I've looked at this chart several times. So what you're going to do, 119 is the weight of the edge AC. So I'm going to draw that. Somebody just texted me, which is, only happens once a year, so I better read it. All right, so we've, we've gotten our first edge. It's A to C, which has a weight of 119. We're going to look for our next shortest edge, which is 120. I think there's one that's 120. Yep. C to E. So we're going to draw that. Right. <clears throat> when you look at your next shortest edge, it's going to be this one, which is B to C. But you're not allowed to do B to C because we already have two edges coming into C. So if we actually drew the one that goes from B to C, that means we'd be going into C, leaving C, then coming back to C, which you're not allowed to do. So we can't use this edge. So the next shortest edge is <clears throat> A to E, but we're not allowed to do that either because this is a good example of what it means to close off the circuit before you're done. Okay? We're not allowed to use that edge because it closes off a circuit. Okay. That means E, A, and C would all have two edges going into them. And eventually, since we haven't finished the, um, the whole Hamilton circuit yet, one of those edges would have to have another edge either going back to it or leading out of it, which would give it three edges going into it, which you're not allowed to do. So we can't use this edge either. So we have to look at the next highest one. I don't think there's one in the 140s. There's a 150, which is B to D. You're allowed to use that. That doesn't violate any of our conditions. Notice that you don't have to, uh, <clears throat> I 
It doesn't have to all be together until the very end. Like there's nothing connecting these right now, but there doesn't have to be until the very end. All right. We've gone pretty much every place. We've been to every vertex except for F. So eventually we have to get to F. All right. So what's our next shortest edge? A to D. A to D is allowed. This does this does not violate any of our conditions that we can't violate. We haven't completed a circuit yet, and um, none of the vertices have three or more edges coming into them. Let's look at our next biggest or next our next smallest edge weighted edge. One. 50, 180, 170, is there any 160s? 174. We can't use 174 because it would both complete a circuit and have three edges going into that. We need to find something that's going to, our next shortest edge that we're only going to be able to use has to have F involved in it someplace because we haven't been to F yet. Okay, so 185, can't use that. Two hundred. Can't use that because of the close the circuit. Um two From 200, the next shortest one is actually three, all the way up to 315, I think, which is EF. We can do that because that doesn't violate anything yet. doesn't matter how you draw these either. I want you to be able to see it, though. I think you can see that whole thing. Okay, we've been to every every uh, vertex now. You'll know that you're done. We're not done yet, but you'll know the step before you're done. <clears throat> every vertex except for two of them have two edges going into it. D has two edges going into it. A does, C does, E does. But F and B only have one edge going into them. So we have to complete the circuit by going from B to F. And the distance from B to F, or the weight of B to F, 404. So let's see what our Torah gives us. Let's assume that we're starting from C, because that's Cortland. So we're going to start at C. Then you can either go to E or A. It doesn't matter what direction you go in. So I'll go to A. Then from there it's D to D to F to E to C. Remember, since this is K6, you're going to have six numbers that you're adding up at the end. C to A is 119. A to D is 152. D to B is 150, B to F, 404, F to E is 315, and then we have 120 back to, to C. So let's add that up. I don't remember what, we did the same problem using the nearest neighbor algorithm, but I don't remember what we got. I can look back and see later when I uh, upload the videos. I need my calculator. So we have 119 plus 152 plus 150 plus 404 plus 315 plus 120. 1260. I think when we did this before, we got 1337 or something. I think it was for this same problem when we did it using the nearest neighbor algorithm. 
So we get 1260 using the cheapest link algorithm, which is good that we got a better tour because in my last problem using the cheapest link algorithm, we got a worse tour than the nearest neighbor. They, they don't give you the same answer necessarily. Sometimes they do, but they don't always. So this was an example of using the cheapest link algorithm when you have a chart. You have to draw a picture. There's not an option. 